Hello everyone and welcome back to Amber Living with Dystrophy. Today I have for you my Disney's Maleficent cap slash crown tutorial. Let's get started! Today I'll be using this mannequin to help me but you want to use your own head, a wig cap, your trusty pair of scissors, and some electrical tape. You'll also need a piece of snake-like material for the top of the crown, but I'll get more into that later in this tutorial. Next, you want to put the wig cap on. You want this to be you, your head, not a mannequin's head, but your head. <laughs> Taking a piece of electrical tape, you're going to want to place this in the center of your forehead, making sure it's in the V shape. You could just bring this tape down and into the back of your head. Here's a closer look. Overlapping but not passing the other piece of tape we put down first, you want to repeat with the other side, bringing it along down the back. I would say each strip would be about 12 to 17 inches depending on the size of your head. Now let's start on the side. We're going to layer it from the bottom up. Each strip will slightly overlap the first piece of tape we put on the top. It should go on the side of your head, down underneath your ear, and travel up the side of your head. Here's what it should look like. You're going to slightly overlap each piece as you travel up the side of your head. And here's what the first side should look like. Now you just repeat with the other side. When doing the other side, you don't want it to be too tight. You actually want it to be able to lift up off your head. This will be the cap, so we need to have it come on and off our head pretty easily. And here's what both sides look like finished. You're going to want to do this twice or three times, depending on how strong you want the cap to be. You're going to want to end each piece in the back. Now let's do the top. Now taking strips of tape long enough to go from the front of the V to the back of your neck, you're going to want to put this slightly overlapping the V that we made earlier. You're going to build this up in a layer, going from left to right, and you're going to want to do this twice. Make sure you tape all the pieces of the wig cap down. This is what it looks like after all the layers are done. I went over this about two times, making sure the cap is strong enough to be able to take on and off with my head. Now you just want to check the size. When you take it on and off, you just want to be careful, but you want to make sure that it goes correctly over your ears. When she wears the crown in this part of the movie, you don't really see her ears, so we need to make sure you cover them up. Now let's start on the horns. Because I've already used my horns in the makeup tutorial and they're stuck on the cap I've used in that tutorial, I'm going to take this white piece of paper to represent what the horns would look like being blank. This is just for me. You do not use this white piece of paper. It's just to show what they would look like without any tape on them. So I have to block it out with this white piece of paper. When you put your horns on, you want them to have some distance. You actually don't want them to sit on the front of the head either. 
You want them to lean in the back. She has them slightly in the back of her head. I would also keep the tips of the horns about 5 inches apart. Now you're just going to want to tape your horns in place. I've just took two pieces of tape, one in the front and one in the back, to hold the horns in place. And repeat with the other side. Next we're going to take strips of tape and cut them in half. These are about 12 to 16 inches depending on the size of your horns. The best way to help you if you're doing this by yourself is to put it on the table and cut down the middle. Next you're going to start from the back of the horns with the small strips of tape. Starting with your left hand, you're going to cross over to the front of the side of the horns. With your right hand, you're going to cross over what you did with your left. You want this to crisscross. This will help with the effect of it looking like it was weaved or braided into the cap. Then you repeat, slightly overlapping each piece, making sure to go into a crisscross pattern. This is what it should look like when you're finished. And remember, this white piece of paper was for me, not for you, but for me to show you what the horns look like blank. I got this snake-like material from an old jewelry box that I had lying around, and I spray painted it black for the front of the crown. You could take any snake-like material that you have, or you could buy. And then I just drew a stencil in the back so I know where to cut. We want to make it a diamond-like shape or an upside-down kite. This should be about five and a half to seven inches depending on the size of your head. This should be about the size of the diamond and this is the area where we're going to be placing it. Before we tape it down, we're going to cut two slits at both ends of the sides of the diamond. If you're using a thicker material, these slits help the diamond lay flat across the top of the crown. They should be about half an inch to an inch depending on the size of your diamond. Starting with the bottom of the diamond, we're going to tape this over the same V area we did earlier. The tape should go in between the cuts, like this. And then just repeat with the other side. And then you just tape down the top, bringing the tape down the back of the crown. You're going to want to do two to three layers over this. And we are finished. Here's just a closer look of how the braiding looks on the side of the horns. Here's what it looks like without the mannequin head. I'll also show you what it looks like on the inside as well. And here's what it looks like on my head. I did do a full makeup tutorial on Maleficent on my channel and I'll have the link to that in the description box below, but here's a couple of snapshots so you can see what it looks like with full makeup. Thank you guys so much for tuning in to my channel, I hope you guys enjoyed this tutorial as much as I did. And if you have any comments or questions, please leave them in the comment box below. I'll have the link to the full Maleficent makeup tutorial in the description box. Please remember to like and subscribe if you have a chance, and always remember to enjoy life and loved ones.